this is the trace heating kit that we're going to be fitting. Uh, I bought this as a complete kit. Now you've got to be careful because there's somebody selling these on eBay and all they're selling is the actual trace heating wire itself and it doesn't actually have the thermostat on so that means that it will be on permanently. But this model that we bought it has a thermostat on so the actual trace heating will only switch itself on when it gets below 5 degrees. So we've got the trace heating wire with the thermostat, we've got a small junction box, we've got the instructions, we've got a, a label and some cable ties and then we've got another cable for inside the property with an inline RCD. So basically what we do with this kit is we have this on the inside of the property and we wire that lead into the boiler so that goes to the existing neutral live and earth that's already on the boiler and this end of the cable is connected via this junction box to the end of this cable which is a trace heating cable and obviously this piece of the cable is passed through the wall so if you do buy one of these as a kit off eBay, make sure that you've got the inline RCD with it and also the thermostat. It's not much good just buying the trace heating elements on its own because you'd have to have it permanently switched on all the time. So we need to get the thermostat in a good position so that the tracing cable will follow the pipe so it's roughly right there where it is and then up here we need to drill a hole through the wall for the cable to go through so I'm going to drill the hole about there which should just about be in the correct position So now we've got our piece of plastic push fit pipe and we're going to shove that through the hole which will line it. So now we can cut that off. And we can just push that flush with the surface. So I'm going to be using a red wall plug. So I've put a 5.5mm drill bit and the SES drill. So again, when I'm starting off, I've switched off the ammo action on the drill till I get the all started. And once I've got it started, I can switch the ammo action on. So I'm now going to knock the roll plug into the hole. So now I've pushed the wire through the plastic pipe which is lining the hole and now all we need to do is fix the thermostat in position. And whenever you're fixing anything outside it's essential that you use rust proof screws. These particular ones are stainless brass are also okay outside but if you use a normal wood screw it'll go rusty in a matter of days. Now all we need to do is cable tie the trace heater to the actual condensate pipe. We need to fix it at approximately every 300 millimetres. And when you get to the bottom, you'll notice that this one is a couple of feet too long. 
So what we're going to do is cable tie it at the bottom. And then we're going to bend it back up on itself. So now we've secured it, we can now cut off the excess length on the cable ties. Now what we need to do is lag the pipe and the trace heating using some insulation. And once we've done this, we've actually finished outside, we can then go inside. And then we're just going to secure the insulation in place using some cable ties. And whenever you put a cable tie on, when you cut the end bit off there, it usually leaves a short bit which people can catch themselves on. So what we're going to do is ensure that the cable tie is actually at the back so that there's absolutely no chance of anybody catching themselves on it when they walk past. So now we're just going to mark the last piece of insulation where it needs cutting. And to cut insulation like this, it's a lot easier if you use an axe or blade. So I've actually used a piece of leftover insulation just to protect the top of the pipe there where it exits the property. So now, as you can see, the insulation has been added all the way down. So now the only thing to do is to add the warning label to warn people that there's trace eating behind the insulation. So we're just going to peel that off. We'll put that on about there. So that's the outside finish now. So now all we need to do is go inside and wire it up. So if we look there, you can see the actual pipe coming through from outside. And there's our cable. So before we start, we're going to switch the boiler off. Then we're just going to pop the fuse out of there, just to be on the safe side. And then I'm just going to remove these two screws and I'm going to pull the front panel down so that we can get to the electrical wiring. So now I'm just going to remove these two screws and then we can get into the actual PCB bit and the bit where the actual wires are and then we'll just lift that clear. And then before we do anything else, we're just going to get our approved voltage checker. We're just going to test it's working by pressing the test button. And then we're just going to check a couple of places on the boiler to ensure that it is completely dead. So all we need to do is probe some of the terminals. So we can be confident now that that is actually dead, it is isolated correctly. So we're just going to test the tester again. So now we know that that's working, so now we know that we can work on this quite safely without fear of anything being live at all. So this is underneath the boiler and that's the existing live neutral and earth going in.
So we're now going to put the fuse back in. Then we're going to switch the boiler back on. And now if we look outside you can see there that the red power light is illuminated. The green light's not on because we're not at 5 degrees yet or below. So that's how to install trace heating on your condensate pipe.